Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Enderall. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today here in the basement of the destroyed abbey. And uh, we're leaving this area, I think. I wasn't ready for for this being a, a, a new area. Do I want to go there? I think I might. Well, we don't need to be sneaking anymore, so that's a good thing. Let's... oh, stop it game. Maybe we do need to be sneaking. No, we don't. Oh, what the heck? This requires a key. That's cool. I mean, it's not cool that it requires a key. I'm, I'm, I'm very opposed to that. It's cool that it's got like a little under entrance. That's probably the, uh, the exit back. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so we dealt with you already, Mr. Plastic Skeleton, and your moss-covered wooden tower. But this doesn't require a key. It requires a lever. Good. It's going in. So we got this thing above us. It's light. I don't have torches anymore, because apparently the ones that I did have were all consumed. I'm not really sure why or how, uh, but they did. They got consumed, so I'm waiting to find more. I prefer the torch light, to be honest. Uh, but uh, but yeah, so for right now we have this. The, one of the reasons why I prefer the torch light is that we don't get spotted as easily. Speaking of which... Oh, that's pretty nasty. Can I please not get hit? Can I please shoot? Ugh, I'm gonna die. That's just the thing. I didn't. I didn't die. Whew. Okay, where? There you are. I'll take all of that stuff. So where are we right now? Is this under... We're in the outside world, I think. Yeah. Oh no. Fever. Do I really care for that? Yes. And I got a shield. Some really cool soundtrack right now. I didn't see how much I got. Let's see how much I got. <laughs> Uh, two, 21. That's pretty good. I can go with an Ambrosia. I don't really need to. We do have a spell. New one. Revive. Cool. Uh, and uh, I also got a shield so we can look over here. And it, it looked like an Eterna shield. Let's see if it is a crappy one. Because we're probably not going to use it anyway. Uh, but if it is a crappy one. Which it is. I'm pretty sure it was this thing. So let's drop. I would say it is. Shall we go down there? No. Also, wait a minute. Because this is only openable from the inside. This is not an entrance. This is an exit. Huh. Really cool. Plastic skeleton over there. Okay. Let's go back inside. Okay. Up we go to the library. Have we been to the library? I think not. We'll find soon enough. Yep, we have not. What is that? We don't have light, so that's a good thing. I see them. There's more. They don't see us. I think they're... Nope, they're up there. Interesting. There's one of them. There was one of them above. Oh, there's another one. Do you see it? Okay, there's more of them. This might not be ideal. I'm using my time slow here to give me a little bit of time. Did I say this is my... Oh, that guy dodged. I hate that. I hate that so much. It's a chance to dodge. I am pretty sure the AI does it. A monk. Oh, but they're ghostly monks, so they deserve to die. This is bad. No, oh, maybe not as bad as I thought he was gonna be. He damned me. Really cool soundtrack. That guy's a lost one. He can't. He comes at us with his glowing eyes. 
Not anymore, sir. Not anymore. A lot of experience from them. I'm pretty sure the game... I was gonna say I'm pretty sure the game... It makes no sense what I was gonna say. I'll, but I was still gonna say. Let's see. Is this the... No, this is a bad one. Where's the light? That's the one. Uh, I was gonna say I'm pretty sure the game gives us more experience uh, depending on our level. Because we are getting more experience out of normal enemies than we were at the beginning of the game. Uh, but that doesn't make any sense. That's not what happens. What actually happens, I think, is that, well, of course, the tougher enemies give us more experience than the weaker enemies. Rank 2, that probably sucks. Uh, I'll still take it. Let's see. Spell. No, not here. Over here. Spell. Oh, can I... Uh, yeah, good. Can I see... So if I click here in the middle, nothing happens. This is basically UI. Basic... Basically UI. This is basic UI. Uh, if you shouldn't allow me to not be able to click on things. And I think... No, there's a square. There's a square. Yeah, I should have more padding. Always add padding. If you're designing anything, anything at all, it, it doesn't matter if it's a pamphlet or, or if it's a, a game UI, and I say that without uh, barely any experience at all designing game UIs, um, but if you or if the website or whatever, always add padding. Padding, spacing, that's probably another term that you can use or that is used. So we killed all of them. I, okay, this is an amazing area. Oh, uh, back to the gushing over the all the pretties. Colonel RPG, you idiot. So what was I saying before? Oh yeah, uh, I was talking about the experience. Let's get these guys so they don't suck. Okay, I was talking about the experience, and I think basically because the game levels the enemies that we get uh, based on our level, at least to a certain extent. And honestly, I, I've been enjoying it. Level scaling can be done, can be done well. I'm not completely opposed to it, despite Oblivion being the worst thing ever because of it. Not because not the worst thing, the worst game ever. Far from it, but being a lot worse than it should be. It's probably what I should say. Um, but uh, but because yeah, because the game levels the enemies that we fight. It means that we keep a steady income of experience because we're getting so much from them, despite the levels uh, being, you know, further and further apart from each other, experience-wise. Because we're killing tougher and tougher enemies with about the same level of difficulty. They saw us because of our light. Uh, about the same level of difficulty, I would say. Not literally, not the... I, I have increased the difficulty up to hard, I think it was? Okay. I'm hidden. Let's go upstairs. Um, but, yeah. So, basically, it's just levels... Level ups every once in a while. And I really like... I don't know. I think... I think there's a tendency to get... Um, to make games where you level up a, a, lot, a lot more often than... You would normal, uh, normally or otherwise level up in more traditional RPGs. I don't know. Actually, the influence might be in the JRPG genre, and I don't know enough about that. I'm pretty sure you, I'm pr pretty sure you get levels like crazy in in uh, in JRPGs normally, don't you? Especially if it's team based. In which case, it's like you're leveling this guy up to level 100, and everybody else in your team, and you just spend like 100 hours doing that. That's nothing. In comparison to, for example, Baldur's Gate, where you spend, uh, well, not a hundred hours, but probably fifty hours to level up to ten on a single character. Well, actually, actually, it's not a single character; it's the whole team. But still, and uh, I grew up playing games like that: Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate Two, Fallout. Fallout Two, not so much, because it does it does level you up to normally level 24, 23, 26, depending on how much experience you gain throughout the course of the game, but. Of course, not Morrowind, which is definitely one of the greatest games that I grew up playing. So, you know, in the in that regard, I'm definitely used to getting up to level 50s and stuff. I see you. I see you. Actually, I don't know what level I'm at right now. I press H. Yes, I do. I'm level 54, and we still, I still have a lot to level up. I don't think there's a maximum. Maybe there is. Maybe there's a hard cap. 
maybe a hard cap in terms of experience rather than in terms of levels. I don't know. I know that um, in Skyrim the hard cap is variable depending on your class. Not your class, but I guess your skill set and all that sort of stuff. But um, but it's higher than uh, Ob than Oblivion or Sky or Morrowind. I know you're not seeing anything. I just don't want to toggle the lights here because it's bad. Okay, spare parts. I'll take them. And now we go outside to mess with that. But Skyrim, I think, goes up to seventy something. And then with the Legendary Edition, which I believe is the one I own, unless it's a mod, but I bought the game without DLCs. I don't know what version I have of the game. Dang it, these, this new gaming industry and all their versions. It is confusing, it is confusing, but yeah, I don't know what version I have. I don't have all the DLCs. But I remember seeing the legendary thing. I never used it though. Hmm. Well, mostly then again, mostly I I just played. Um, I did finish the game, uh, the um, the main campaign, not the DLCs, because I only have one. Uh, how do I open this? I did finish it twice, and then I finished it again with the Requiem mod. Have I talked about the Requiem mod? Requiem, Requiem. Because I should have talked about the Requiem, Requiem mod. Because it's an amazing mod. Can I go back there? Interesting. Okay, I don't need to sneak anymore. I can put these away. We have a broken soul gem. That's interesting. That was pretty hard to spot. And we got some plants. Or some fungi. Fungi? Fungi. I don't know. So how do I get back there? There must be a way. I'm looking a lot of this wall, but honestly, I don't expect it to be in this wall. Yeah, that goes back over there. Huh. Let's go upstairs. I was honestly expecting it to be like a drop or something. It might be. Have we been up here? And we have not. Uh huh. The treasure room. And we have ourselves a dexterity potion and a couple of cheap invisibility potions. Those are nice, but I'm not going to carry them. We have a uh, staff of... Oh, yeah, one of these. Uh, gaunt, gaunt, gauntlets. Skarag Dakak. Let's see. Uh, it's heavy. Don't need it. And a sack with some coins. Oh, it's so little coins. So few coins. Uh, in a world where items are so expensive and you give me only 12 coins... Can't say I don't understand, because I think I do. So yeah, what I was expecting is either a, th uh, either, either a drop from above up here, which is obviously not the case, or a lever up here, which also seems to not be the case. Let's get a little bit of light in here. Huh. Well. I guess we're not getting in there. But I want to get in there. Maybe it's not... We're not meant to get in there. Well, I'm going to save. I'm not going to go in there. But I'm going to show you what is in here. What is that? A strange crystal. Ah, it's probably for a quest later. Uh-huh. It doesn't open. There's no end. No, there's no opening back here. Pretty cool. I, li I like the all the the leaves um, in front of that painting. Looks pretty cool. Did I open any of the, all, all of these? I don't need them. I've read all the books. Maybe. So moving on to the halls. Have I been to the halls? That's the basement. I think so. Yeah. We're gonna get detected immediately. Let's get an arrow or a bow and arrow here. Cause if this is No, we've been here. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, so yeah, I definitely skipped this. So 
I'm going back through here because it, it is easier for me to find my way back. Because all I need to do is go this way. And we're going to go down. We're just exploring this out of just curiosity, really. Because I, I didn't even mean to find this. I just went north, I think it was. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is terrible. What the heck? This is where we started. And then we... Went this way. Did we? Huh. I don't think we did. I don't think this is where we started. I think the basement leads to a... No, yeah, the basement is where we started, yeah. And then we just... And I mean, by started, I mean the episode. And, uh, and then I... These sounds... And then we are going back to Thalgard. Then that's why if, I don't know if it is the uh, if it's the the actual open world because it's Thalgard. Do I know Thalgard? That's not even a region. Usually it's like the go Golden Coast and stuff like that. But this is very spooky. So on we go. Light goes away. My favorite. A locked chest in the middle of nowhere. That's also a good indicator. Because it means I haven't been here at all. <clears throat> and of course, it's got treasure in it. Only 40 gold pieces, but... Ooh, salt fruit. The heck was that sound? Did I not want to get up there? Might. There's more salt root. Interesting. Let's keep going. And the weapon goes away. Let's see if we have been here, because this looks... Yeah, we have. Ah, so that's where... Okay. Okay. So we have cleared this already, and uh, I just saved the game, that's why I did that hiccup. And then we can go to the dungeon that we didn't visit before. And I don't think we can go up there, even though I would love to go up there, but I think that's just... Since that is uh, uh, just a decoration, basically, th there's nothing. Or maybe there is something there. Thalgard Crematory! Let's go into the crematory. Is that how it's called? Crematory. I love that. <laughs> that loading of the level right there. Is that what is that the name in English? Wait. Someone's there. Is someone there? No, I don't think so. Oh, that's bad. That other guy's gonna see me. No, he's not. I'm too in the shadow here. Good. I didn't even bother. I don't. This game has broken my my IFF. It's just, or maybe it has trained my IFF properly. It's just I see people murder because they are definitely not friends. Look at that. The easiest one, and I'm missing the mark. There it is. Got some interesting stuff in there. Mostly very little buffs. Let's see if we have any spells that we haven't learned yet. I, I think that one. Yeah, I have. A couple of barrels. Green apple in there. Do I need food? I got some. Maybe. Recently, I mean. And these are all I wild mages. Which is good, because they do carry... Man, these, this place just must have humidity through the roof. It's got so much plants all over the place. Okay, health potion. A boon. Interesting. Heals the caster. Nah, it sucks. It also adds arcane fever. Lifesteal is where it's at. It is a little bit more dangerous, but that's where it's at. Cheese and sausages and bread. Also, that's pretty cool. Okay. Got wine. 
nothing important here. Got these weird paintings. Staff of Ice Wall. And I was gonna miss these. Will there be more? Wild mages, I mean? Yes. There's definitely movement around here. And a point of no return. Oh, not necessarily wild mages then, as it turns out. Ice elementals. Kill that one. Good. They're very upset. Ah, there we go. Burn my eyes to crisp. This is interesting. Is it a trap room? No. Could be. It's got those things up there. I don't know what that's for. A m apprentice chest? I was expecting a master one. So we're not going to get too much good stuff. And then again... Eh, do I need these? Not really. I mean, since I don't need them. Uh, let's see. We have an Adept Book Sneak. Is that what it is? Was that what the title? Adept Book Sneak? That, I think that was the title. Curious. Anyway, uh, no sneaking for us. That might be good ad adept. I don't know if it's for 50 or for 75. Because I do need to get to 75. My current one is only 53 or something. Uh, that's lock picking. What is my sneaking? Oh, 78. Oh, that's pretty good. So I need master now. Okay. Excuse me. Need to be careful here. Okay. To Thalgar. So this connects outside again. Okay, let's open this. And get that. Uh, the Starling Arrows. Strain's health. Is that good? That is probably good. The Charisma Potion. No, let's take it. Get that. So where do I... How do I get there? Through there. Yeah. So it's just... No. It's actually further than I thought it was going to be. Good. We're in the middle of tall grasses. And we... What the heck is that? Did we see that before? I don't know if we have. We just have a lot of new stuff around here. And I can't go up there. No, there's another. Are these balloons? Somebody detects me. Who detects me? Well. There it is. Oh, it's just one of these guys. Oh, there's a lot of them. What the heck is that? No? Okay, that's pretty bad. Oh, that is so bad. Oh no, I'm. So, that's good, that's good. Okay, I'm out, I'm out. <sighs> what the heck is that? The heck? What the? Oh! Okay. <sighs> oh, stop it. I'm probably gonna die, by the way. There's no way here. This guy alone. With any luck, I'm out of their reach, but... This, yeah. yeah. That's not luck. That's glitch. <laughs> that's with any glitch. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, yeah, you can stop the noisy. Okay, so we know where they are, we know what they are, and we know how dangerous they are. Let's try and get into a better... I hear you. Oh, it's just none roots. Nobody cares. Oh, there you are. I don't understand why... Why they make noise. They shouldn't make noise. Because they're not important anymore. Okay, can I go up through here? Maybe. Probably not. Oh! Could jump. I'm trying to jump, by the way. Oh! Aha! That doesn't get me any closer to survival. I'm very good at jumping. 
Okay. This might be better. I think it, it is gonna be better. So we have a t really, really terrible encounter right now. And I think it's because we are in way over our heads. But we can see them from here, so this is gonna be good things. But it's gonna be good things next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Enderall. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.